Dear friends in Dhamma, my name is Bhante Ratana. Today I will deliver a short introduction about Arahant Mahakashapa. First of all, we recite Namotasa Bhagavato three times uh, to homage to the Buddha. Namotasa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo tasse bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhase Namo tasse bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhase Homage to the sublime one, the worthy one, the fully enlightened one Homage to the sublime one, the worthy one, the fully enlightened one Homage to the sublime one, the worthy one, the fully enlightened one. Okay, dear friends, today I'm gonna talk about Arahant Mahakasapatero, third principal disciple of Gautama Buddha. So, as you know, in Buddha's dispensation, there are four great disciples four principal disciples actually they both of the they they were all held the most responsible about buddha's dispensation buddha sasana so this is the arhant sariputta dhamma senadi patibhasi's title dhamma com commander chief in dhamma in english so you can see this beautiful picture of his, another great artist in Sri Lanka, a Gayanchan Kvidharana Patirana, who, who made this masterpiece of his artwork. And uh, this is the Arhant Mahamoggalla, the second principal disciple. So he called the Dhamma Purohita, which translate as the Dhamma advisor, chief in Dhamma. So this also his great artwork. So this is the third principal disciple of Gautama Buddha, and uh, he he was uh, he was Dhamma Dhammadikari. His title was Dhammadikari. Uh, actually, it is there is no uh, good translation for this word, but it's is the person who initiated the first Sangha assembly. assembly. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about this a great disciple of uh, Gautama Buddha. This is the Arhant Ananda Thera. Uh, he was the Dhamma Bandagarika, the treasurer of the Dhamma, and the uh, which translates as a Dhamma treasure. This, so you can see he he keep um, some keys to about his treasure of Dhamma. So this also that's great artist artwork. So today we will focus on Mahakasapa Thera. Next time maybe we will talk about the other Arhant Maha. Mahakasapa was the foremost monk who recommended asceticism, also called Dutanga practices. Earlier in, in their relationship, Buddha, relationship, the Buddha traded robes with Mahakasapa. Actually, Mahakasapa was wearing a very luxury robe and the Buddha was praised that robe. And Mahakasapa understood Buddha thought because Buddha also wanted to trim his special way, so they both traded. And the, at that time, the Buddha was wearing a Pansukula Chivara, like a, a puna, uh, that that robe was uh, stitched uh, uh, together from funeral clothes. So that funeral cloth, the robe which made by funeral clothes, Buddha gave to Arhant Mahakasapa and Arhant Mahakasapa 
uh, gave uh, gave his his that uh, more comfortable luxury uh, robes so in this way because of regarding this incident the people says arhant mahakasapa is the success of buddha but actually uh, buddha uh, is can be never happen a success of buddha nobody can reach to buddha's level uh, without a buddha so um, he took care of a lot of responsible and the preserve, to preserve dhamma uh, in the gautama buddha sasana so that's why people i think he is the success of buddha so you can see this uh, mural uh, this is the oldest uh, mural of arhant mahakasapa this uh, uh, mural is in china in the kaisil cave you can see this picture it's mean to depict his austerity and commitment to dutanga his great virtue is looked like not uh, he spent that he spent a uh, fancy life so his uh, beard and hair is broad uh, it has this in picture so this recognized as the oldest picture of arhat mahakasapa this in kaisil cave in china uh, actually uh, according to that picture he is he was uh, according to Dhamma and the, and the report of the Buddha Sasana, he was the foremost monk who practiced Dutanga. Uh, if you want to learn more about Dutanga, uh, check chapter 2 of the Visuddhimagga. Visuddhimagga is the uh, Buddha Gosha uh, who uh, was written that book according to the Dhamma. You can find the 13 Dutanga practices in Visuddhimagga in the second chapter, including uh, the 30, uh, 22 different ways to collect the cloth to make a Pansukulika Chivara, which means a robe made of rags and funeral cloth. So, 23 ways, uh, different ways how to make a, a Pansukulika Chivara. So, this this uh, this chapter two is is the uh, chapter second chapter is explaining all about thirteen dutanga. Uh, Arhant uh, uh, Mahakasapa had uh, seven out of thirty two sign of a great man. Uh, if you read Sutta Lakkana Sutta in Diganikai thirtieth Sutta, you can know more about this thirty two sign of a great man. Uh, this one time, uh, they, because of this reason, uh, Arhant Mahakasap and the Lord Buddha look similar. Uh, one occasion, an old lady who was a disciple of Arhant Mahakasapa accidentally gave food, uh, uh, cooked rice to the Buddha thinking he was Arhant Mahakasapa because they look similar uh, later that lady wanted to take that cook rice from uh, uh, lord buddha's bowl and offer to arhat mahakasapa so uh, they both you you can see this beautiful picture and it also has some figures of, it's similar to buddha's picture and and uh, slightly uh, slightly uh, different but it look like as buddha's uh, picture so, actually, Arhant Mahakasava called Saint of the Poor because Arhant Mahakasava was, uh, was known as the Saint of the Poor because uh, he always wanted to give opportunity to offer arms, food uh, for the poor people. One occasion, Arhant Mahakasapa wanted to give an opportunity to leper to offer food for his future benefit. Unfortunately, when he was offering food, his rotten finger fell off in the arms ball. The leper was afraid because he did something uns unsanitary to the uh, arms food. 
Arahant Mahakasapa knew about his worries, so he sat near him and calmly removed the finger and ate the food away. The leper was very happy and he passed away after few days and he born in a higher realm and he was happy about what he did in this great action. Actually, Arahant Mahakasapa more, uh, is, a, is a great Arahant who gave this opportunity like this many, many poor people. So most of or all of them born in the heaven and that's why many deities like Arahant Mahakasapa. One occasion, the king of God Sakra also came to human human realm as a human and as a poor person and to offer uh, food to Arahant Mahakasapa to get highest blessing. So uh, Arahant Mahakasapa spent the last part of his life in the Himalayas. So after Buddha's passing away, he descended the mountain to take part to crimination ceremony. Many people tried to make the fire, but they weren't able to until they appeared and bowed to the Buddha's corpse. After Arahant Mahakasapa bowed three times, the funeral fire spontaneously combusted itself. So this is the picture of Himalaya mountain, it's a beautiful picture. So he used to live very calm and tranquilized areas like this. So you know after Buddha's passing away, the uh, in Kushina Kushinagar, the where King Mallas ruled this kingdom. So Drona Brah Brahmin Drona, who was who had responsibility to share Buddha's bodily relics, so one portion of Buddha's relics received to King Mallas, it, it including this Buddha's frontal bone. So uh, Arhan Mahakasapa's lineage, his disciples uh, were, were taking care of this uh, Buddha's frontal bone relics, and later he they gave that frontal bone relics to sri lanka and the, during king kavanti's reign in second bc century and the, this is the that uh, serua villa is super sri lanka how it look like today so it's a very blessed place most of the buddhist disciples go and pay respect to the buddha's frontal bone relics so and uh, you know after three months later of buddha's passing away the first sangha assembly was held at Sattapanni cave it was convened and led by arhat mahakasapa with the 500 arhat king ajatasattu patronized the event so this is the another picture of uh, Satapanni cave. This is, and uh, at the uh, actually at the last minute, Anand finally awakened and was able to join the council. This is the another picture of Satapanni cave. It said that the, that there was an outdoor pavilion for the 500 Anand built outside the cave, but nowadays. No longer the pavilion, but it looked like this a cave and things. So I told you that Arhan Mahakasava like is spending his time in tranquil tranquil samadhi. So he chose like places like this. So he lived in this calm area away from Rajagaha Kingdom. The Rajagaha Kingdom used to rule King Ajatasattu. This is the place he passed into Parnirvana. It said that he sat for meditation. He used his psychic power to cause three mountains to cross in on him. 
so that his body can remain preserved until Maitreya Buddha, Maitreya Buddha times. So, so this is the another picture of that. Uh, this the shrine on the top of the Kukuta Sampada mountain, and the, nowadays called Gurupa Bihar in India. So this shrine, uh, you can see the uh, beautiful statue of Arahant Mahakasapa. So uh, last uh, November, I was able to visit this place and pay my respect for this place is an amazing place and very tranquil and the calm place that's why Arahant Mahakasapa chose a place like this so and also uh, during his lifetime Arahant Mahakasapa's lifetime uh, Arahant Mahakasapa's tooth fell out and his disciple kept it safe you know in the second BC century during Duttagamini Abe reign, so they gave that tooth relic to Sri Lanka. And in that, uh, during Duttagamini Abe's reign, uh, built this beautiful temple there. It's called Benthara Galapatha Royal Temple. So you can see this beautiful stupa that his Arhant Mahakasapa tooth relic is enshrined in in this beautiful stupa most of most of the buddhist people they come uh, all, all all the corners of the world to pay respect this beautiful uh, stupa and it's a, according to according to history so this is the another picture of benthara galapatha royal temple in sri lanka so I hope you learned something and were inspired by what I shared about Arahant Mahakasapa's life. He is the, uh, because of his great work, we are still blessed to have Buddha's noble teaching and uh, uh, learn how to uh, free from suffering and get the deliverance. So I uh, conclude my brief introduction of Arahant Mahakasapa by saying sadhu 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 thank you very much for listening to my great little introduction of great arahant mahakasapa